Today I spoke with John Cox, who hopes to first make it on the ballot in November and then upset the favorite Democrat Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom. I began by asking about the key issues in this race. There's two key issues. There's the sanctuary state law, which the politicians in Sacramento have passed and the public is up in arms about because it uh, protects criminal illegal aliens instead of uh, trying to protect law-abiding citizens and the population. Uh, the other big issue is the gas tax and uh, the crushing tax burden in California. Uh, instead of actually uh, doing something about the waste and corruption in Caltrans, which spends four times what Texas does to build roads. The politicians passed a, a huge new gas tax. Gasoline in the state's already over $4 a gallon, and uh, it's going to $5 a gallon by the end of the year. It's, it's a regressive tax, and it's crushing working people in the state. The top two Democrats, um, and really you're fighting for one of the top two spots, uh, on the issue of immigration at a debate earlier this month, uh, said this. I think we need to acknowledge that the Dreamers didn't come here uh, on their own, and we've got to say that they've got a right to have a, a legalized status. One thing uh, I'm going to do is push back against John Cox, Travis Allen, and Donald Trump and Trumpism. This is a kind of, you know, rhetoric that has no place in California. Now, you can hear the cheers there. Um, what do you say to people who question whether if you get to one of the top two spots that you can actually pull off a Republican win in California? Well, Brett, you know, I'm a Jack Kemp Republican. I served on his uh, presidential uh, steering committee in 1987, and Jack always celebrated legal immigration. And I think what we're talking about here is illegal immigration. But more importantly, the sanctuary state law is about criminals who are held by law enforcement and uh, MS-13 gang members, for example. And then they're being uh, released into the population without informing ICE. And I think the public is outraged about that. If, if somebody who's committed a crime is in the hands of law enforcement, I want ICE informed. I want that person deported. The, the Democrats are trying to make this about racism. They're trying to make this about uh, immigration in general. And I, I want immigration to this country. I celebrate the idea that this country is the beacon of hope for the world. But I don't want people cutting in line. I want people coming to this country legally. I think we need to streamline that process. We need a growing economy, and you, you get that with more people uh, contributing to the economy. So I totally favor what the president's talking about, uh, an end to chain migration, an improvement of the opportunity of people who can come to this country and help us uh, grow this uh, nation and make it one of the, make it, make it continue to be the, the greatest country in the world. Last thing, for people around the nation, uh, um, the lieutenant governor there at the end, you heard him say, you know, I'm, I'm going to fight yeah. John Cox and Donald Trump and the cheers. Uh, in reality, because of the politics of this jungle primary, Gavin Newsom is really kind of supporting you in a way now, isn't he? Well, he'd like to run against me, but, you know, uh, Hillary wanted to run against uh, President Trump, too, and we know how that turned out. Uh, you know, President Trump is a businessman. He's endorsed me because I'm a businessman. And, you know, Brett, you know, business people look for solutions. That's, that's what the president's doing. He's trying to solve the immigration problem, and he's delivering results for the American people. I intend, as a businessman, to deliver results for the people of California, make this state affordable, make it open for business. Uh, fix our roads, fix our schools, fix our water system, uh, make this state affordable and sustainable and livable for the working people of this state. And, you know, Mr. Newsom is a politician from the word go. He's a Bay Area elitist. Uh, he's going to be more of the same, more Jerry Brown, uh, big government, more taxes and a, a crushing uh, affordability problem. We just can't continue down that road. We're going to get a lot of change in 2018. Mr. Cox, we appreciate your time. We'll follow this race closely. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brett.